Hey everyone, welcome to Taste Different Gaming Appetizers. What are we talking about tonight? Well, the rumor mills have started. <clears throat> Get the rumors going, you know, now that we're getting closer to... I mean, we're still a ways out, but ever so closer to new release of, uh, you know, consoles, next-gen consoles, then the rumor mill starts to speed up. And, you know, even though we're probably three or four years out, uh, the rumor mill starts early. So <laughs> according to the next Xbox, you know, is going to be a very different gaming device compared to its predecessors, according to rumors circulating online. According to Windows Central's uh, Jez Corden, Microsoft's next-gen console will likely be a reference device with a heavy Windows slant for manufacturers to make their own devices, like the Surface Pro 11 is a reference device for AI PCs. This would be a huge departure from previous Xbox consoles. It would essentially make it a PC that could potentially run Steam games as well, and thus even you know PlayStation games that could run on Steam. Uh, made available through Valve's uh, digital store, such as the Ghost of Tsushima, God of War, and all that stuff. Uh, Jez Corden using the Surface Pro 11 as example uh, is interesting because, you know, it was rumored that the next Xbox was in development by the Surface team, the people who made the Surface tablets. Um, we've been, and this rumor has been around for a while that the next team developing the next Xbox was that Surface team, the team that develops the surfaces and stuff. So uh, the next Microsoft console is also, be set, uh, is also said to be released in multiple SKUs, including a handheld one that will be capable of running games natively while also supporting cloud gaming. Of course, we don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, I've, I've read this article, you know, before and... Gave it a lot of thought, and it makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I'll tell you why. In my perspective, this is what I think Xbox is, Microsoft is going to do with Xbox. Um, bear with me for a minute. It's going to be a little difficult to explain, but I'm going to try to explain it here. So what I think they're going to end up doing with it is Microsoft, you know, Phil's already came out and said they lost the console wars, right? So it would, and they have. They, they've lost the console wars every single year. Um, and so it wouldn't be in Microsoft's benefit to release another console and go head to head with Sony and Nintendo like they have been doing. It's not helping them. And we also know that console manufacturers don't really make much, if not any money on the manufacturing of the consoles. So I think that what Microsoft's going to do with the next Xbox is Xbox is going to I know it's already a brand, but it's going to become a a, a brand in, in a sense of a line of products, right? Where Xbox is not a console necessarily that sits on your shelf. It is a lot of things, right? Um, almost similar to... Uh, so having multiple SKUs means that they could have it released in a way that they do have multiple things from Microsoft, such as a handheld and a device that a set top box device that you set there, but it's more in line with the PC side of things. I think Microsoft is going to more blur the lines between Xbox as a console and PC gaming, right? So it's really going to be the same thing. Uh, Cause right now they, they've kind of done that where they have Xbox for Game Pass, uh, for PC, uh, but it's not in Steam, right? It's in its own thing. We heard the rumors that, uh, one rumor that went around that Xbox was looking to buy Valve, which I don't think is going to happen. But it would make a lot of sense for them to do that, right? Because the Microsoft Store online has never really taken off. Even I mean, it's been around forever, and it's it barely has anybody. It would make more sense if they bought them or if they partnered with them, because I doubt they'll buy them. But if they partnered with them, and basically combined Xbox Game Pass into Steam, where if you have a subscription, with the, when you pull up Steam, there's a Game Pass tab that you click on, and it shows you all the games that are on Game Pass for PC that you can download on, through Steam, right? Instead of having to go through a separate launcher or anything like that. I think that next Xbox is not going to be a console, uh, that we a traditional console that we know of. I think it's going to be more of like, uh, remember back in the day, those Steam PCs? 
I don't remember if you ever remember those. They were basically, they, they ran on Linux or Ubuntu, which is a Linux uh, operating system. And they basically just, you, you hooked them up. Uh, there were PCs, but you hooked them up to your TV and you played Steam through big picture mode, which big picture mode, Steam still has that today where you can, you know, if you hook your, TV, your computer up to a, a big screen, you can turn on big picture mode, right? And it almost makes it like a console. And so Steam was kind of trying to do that with these uh, Steam PCs, but the Steam PCs were expensive and, you know, there wasn't really a point to buying them. Um, I think Microsoft's going to go more in that direction of kind of a Steam PC, but make it more uh, Windows based, right? So it's based off of Windows. So maybe you can do more with it than just play games. Uh, where it still has the interface that's going to be easy for people to go out and purchase and, and use, uh, but uh, it's going to have more accessibility, being able to like um, download and play your Steam games, download and play your Xbox games, and things of that nature through it. Because Microsoft, I, I, I don't know, for me, it's like it wouldn't benefit them to bring out another console and, and try again. Right. In, in this, in the traditional sense, right. A traditional console, it, it wouldn't be a benefit for them at all. They have to go a different route and a different, with a different strategy. And the different strategy would be everything's an Xbox, right? We'll sell stuff. We'll also sell the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, you know, they say in the article, they talked about, um, not not the multiple SKUs, but but basically creating like a spec sheet that they would give out to other companies. And so you might have an Asus Xbox and a you know Gigabyte Xbox, right? And these other manufacturers who are also creating these Xboxes, and basically you're just selling a, a way to get into the ecosystem another way to get into the ecosystem so it's not just microsoft selling these these boxes it's also other manufacturers manufacturing boxes or whatever similar things that they can sell out onto the market because where microsoft's going to make most of its money which we already know that nowadays even not just with microsoft but with sony and nintendo is through software software subscriptions things like that so if they can in a way basically expand this out to where Hey, anybody can create an Xbox or you don't even have to buy an Xbox. If you have a gaming PC now, you have an Xbox, right? If you have a high-end gaming PC, you have an Xbox, right? So Xbox is not going to be a thing like it is today where it's a, it's a, dev it's a device. It's going to be more of a, I think it's going to be more of an idea, right? Uh, everything's an Xbox. Uh, they're they're kind of going in that direction where you can get Xbox on a TV and you can play it on your phone and things like that. So I think it's going to be a suite of products that are basically going to be out there, such as a handheld device, a set top box, computer, whatever the case may be, these different set top, uh, these different devices out there that are just going to be for sale, that that will be the Xbox in a sense. Uh, so you could, you could play Xbox anywhere, right? On anything. Um, and there's no central device for it it's like anything's an xbox type of thing right uh i think that's where they're i think that's where they're headed um now again you know i'm not a no insider this is all just coming off the top of my dome so i could be completely wrong you know take everything i say with the largest grain of salt it just you know this is just me guessing or uh speculating on what i think they're going to do so anyway Enough rambling on. Uh, Shane, what do you think about all this? And what do you think of, of what I said as far as what, what I think they're going to do for the next Xbox? Um, I think some of it you've pulled directly from your rectum. And some of it, I like the ideal. And I, I, I'm not tech enough to, to be able to say certain things. So I have to look at it just as a gamer, pure, purely game gamer on it. So the the ideal that um all right so let's start with this Microsoft lost the lost the console wars because they tried doing too much with the Xbox one oh it'll do this you got to have the connect it, it's a VCR slash you know whatever 
and they tried too much. And that was one of the reasons they lost the, the console wars. So seeing them trying to do too much again worries me. Now, going back to what you were saying, though, where it's going to be essentially a PC, uh, you know, with an Xbox brand strapped on it, that works better than a console that tries to do everything. You know, a console that does web browsing and plays Blu-rays and blah, blah, blah. That doesn't work as well as a PC. Now, granted, PCs don't play Blu-rays anymore. It's PC, <laughs> you barely find one with a disk drive, uh, you know, at least pre-built. So I, I, as a gamer, I don't want to, I don't want them trying to do too much. Now, if they do, if they do try to go with the route that you were saying, so they give their documents or their ideals, concepts, whatever to, let's say gigabyte, uh, uh, freaking heck, Sony, even Sony's a manufacturer of electronic devices, hell, even Sony or, or Steam or whoever. And they're all making their own Xbox compatible. PC type machines. I, I don't like it and I do like it. It's kind of a double edged sword for me. I like the simplicity of consoles. I put a disc in, where's my game? I like the PC because it's, you can always have a better graphic because you just buy a new disc drive or a new uh, a graphics card or RAM or whatever. Typically, you can just continuously upgrade that PC you got from 10 years ago, and you're just strapping new parts in it. Granted, eventually you're going to have to have a new case because everything is getting bulky. Um, so I, I like the ideal of that uh, because that means my console is going to last longer, or, you know, my We'll call it the hybrid or inbred. What are you going to call it? It's going to last longer um, because of the the essentially just a PC is what we're looking at. You know, it'll be the gigabyte Xbox X Y Z, whatever the hell it is, or the the Steam X Y Z or whatever. Um, I'm okay. I, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, far as the longevity, but I, I like the simplicity of a console. I mean that's why I'm more of a console player. You and Pat, you guys well, are you guys are a, a mixed breed with you yeah. know consoles and PCs. I didn't really grow up with a PC though because I've got just a couple years, a couple years on both of you. <laughs> so uh, I didn't really grow up with a PC. So that's that was never my niche. Um, but I do like I do like PC games. I like playing on my PC. But I do prefer a good couch and a big TV. So, um, right, and I, I don't think that's going away, right? And that's not, no. what I, you know, I'm not saying that's going to go away. I think they're going to still have the simplicity of a console, right? Because you're, yeah. you're correct. The, the console is very, it's plug and play, right? You plug it in, you hit the power button, it's ready to go. It might have some updates or something. You st stick a disc in or download a game and you're ready to play it, right? Whereas on a PC, I mean, PC is fundamentally the same thing, but there's a lot more to it. Um, you know, and things like that. So I think they're going to still have the simplicity of that, whether or not they create like a modified version of Windows that's on it uh, or some sort of uh, dashboard interface that you interact with that kind of like, like I was saying, like Steam's big picture mode, right? That It keeps it simple, right? Um, so it would be something that keeps it simple where it's more, where it is still a plug and play type of device. It's just... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just don't see. Yes, they, they, they killed themselves with the Xbox One. And while the Series X is a great console, they're never going to get that. The 360, what they had with the 360, they're never going to get that back, no matter what they do. And, and, and it's unfortunate. Um, and, and that's because not even just the Xbox One, but since then, they have put so many nails in their coffin. It's ridiculous, right? And so for them, you know, I don't think they want to get out of the, the, the console or the game, you know, marketing, the game making, publishing, whatever. I don't think they want to get out of that. Um, but I think for them, they with their console, they have to go a different strategy, right? If they release an Xbox Y <laughs> console, 
like how well is it going to do right um and that's what that's what worries me is how well is that console going to do because the the xbox series x has done pretty good for them but again even through this generation they started to go up and uh with fans and things like that but the recent things that they've done has really killed the fan motivation for xbox and so if they came out with a new console i just even those people that are interested in xbox may not be interested in a new console because they're just like i you know if you're not giving me anything uh you're not giving me a reason to buy this right right now the way that xbox is besides the plug and play um aspect of the console right if you have depending on what you have right if you have a gaming pc or a a fairly good pc um you can pretty much play every xbox game that you want to play with xbox game pass or just stuff off of steam you know there's no point in having an xbox and that's that's the that's the problem i see with xbox at the current state is Besides the simplicity, the the simplicity, the controller, not necessarily the controller because you can use that controller on your PC, right? But the simplicity, the dashboard, the easiness of, you know, that all-in-one feature set that a console gives you. Uh, Besides that, take that away and what's left? Not much of anything. No. The only, uh, if I was going to look at this purely as a gamer, take take the PC uh love out of it if i'm looking at this purely as a gamer a a console gamer i want a plug and play console that plays games i i i do you ever use a browser in your xbox no take it away do you ever use the blu-ray player no take it away now there are some people that probably stream to it you know netflix things like that and that's perfectly fine because that's really that's really not taking uh that's really not adding costs or things like that into the system i I believe i'm not a tech like i said i'm not a tech guy i want microsoft's next console to be simple as far as the series x is a wonderful console. I prefer my Xbox over my PlayStation because of the UI and the controller. That's that's my main reason. Does Microsoft have the first party games that Sony has? No, no, they don't. And the only way that Sony uh, Microsoft will ever take Sony out is if Sony shoots themselves in the foot and Microsoft starts making quality games of Sony's caliber. But I think I think when you're trying to make an Xbox from four or five different manufacturers, uh, I think it's going to get confusing. Now, that's that's a tech thing that I'm not, you know, I don't have all the knowledge of. But to me, that's going to get confusing. So if Gigabyte makes an Xbox and um, what's another pre-built PC maker? NXT, I think. There, that, that's a sure. company. Yeah, we'll call it NXT. <laughs> uh, and they make a, they make an Xbox console. All right. So one sells theirs for two ninety nine. One sells theirs for five ninety nine. Uh, what are going to be the differences in it? How is that going to affect? Now, granted, I think designing for a PC makes more sense uh, for a game designer because then you can hit all those variable graphics cards and things like that. Uh, I mean, I think there's, it's a lot easier. I would think it's a lot easier to do than designing for series X series S because there's such a big difference in them, you know, and it's a, you know, it's a standard hardware thing. Uh, So I don't know. I, I, part of me likes the idea of what you're describing. It, It really does because it, to me, it seems like I could have more longevity of my console because if that's if they're sticking to uh, like a PC design, then most likely, hopefully, you can swap out graphics cards. You know, Microsoft in five six years says, "All right, you know, well, I mean, it's graphics cards, so they can swap about it anytime." But you know, you can you can keep building up your console uh, PC style. 
Uh, and I like the idea of that, but, you know, I'm also a simple person. I mean, you've met me. Anybody who's ever watched me knows I'm simple in many ways. So I don't want to, I don't want to overburden myself with thought for a console. You know, I plug it in HDMI power. Good to go. That's where I'm at now. You know, Microsoft could do it right this time. Microsoft, you know, is basically from the way it reads and what you're you're thinking is they're kind of putting the console burden on somebody else, which I kind of like. But you know, it's their I just designs. don't think they need it. I don't. I think if they want to stay in relevant in the console market, the console market, not the gaming market. In the console market, they they need to have a console. That's sure. It. And what I mean by they don't need it is they don't need to make it a a focal point, right? I mean, you, you come out with an and what I mean by that is like Microsoft, in my eyes, as a gamer, Microsoft mm. has to do something. Right? Yes, they can't come out. This is what I'm saying. Like with the next console. They can't come out with an Xbox Series Y and hope that they're going to sell 50 million units of that Xbox Series Y. But there's the, nothing there's nothing right now that they've done. No. And even if they said this thing is fucking the tits McGee, it still ain't going to get people to go, oh, well, this time. You know, it's not, they're not going to, right? They're going to say, don't, oh, Google, no. don't Google Tits McGee don't, people. Yeah, don't Google Tits McGee. But the, prob- but the problem is not their consoles. It's never their consoles because they make quality consoles. Right, I love right. the consoles. It is the fact that Don Matrick was the guy to start the hammer with the death nails uh, for his complete and utter ignorance with uh, the, the 360 to the Xbox One. And then Microsoft or Xbox or whoever they call themselves now do not have games. If Microsoft can can give me first party games of the quality that Sony puts out. Now, Sony only puts out two, three, maybe four a year, but they're bar none the best you're going to play that year. If Microsoft can give me seven or eight, you know, one one every couple months that is going to be that is going to be what's going to help put them on the top uh, i don't i don't think microsoft's problem is not consoles microsoft's problem is microsoft <laughs> they're just not putting out games right. for for their great consoles I, uh, now i don't know i don't know like i said the tech stuff but if they can bring more games to have a P, more pc centric device uh, and games of quality because there's some really good stuff on Steam you cannot play on Xbox or PlayStation. So if that would bring more into that ecosystem, you know, then I can see then I can see what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, so Phil Spencer, for example, Phil Spencer uh, inherited it became the head of Xbox Game Studios ten ten years ago. 10 years ago in 10 years now and granted it takes a long time for games to be developed but in 10 years they still haven't given us anything worth buying an xbox over now i will disagree with that depending on the type of gamer you are okay Okay, which game all right so god of war or not god of war (laughs) gears of war (laughs) (laughs) gears of war is a system seller. Uh, I think Gears of War is fantastic. Yeah. Not just not just narratively, but uh, uh, multiplayer. It, it's it's fantastic. To me, that's a console seller. The Halo series, obviously, even though it has faltered over the years, uh, and Infinite is not what I I really enjoyed. Infinite. It's not what a lot of people were were expecting. Uh, but you know, the game is holding strong. Okay. Uh, Hellblade is uh, the original was amazing. Now, new IP, not a system seller because nobody knows it. 
but Hellblade 2 just released. Uh, and we didn't do a review on that because I love this game and I just, I just want to play it. I don't want to think about it. I just want to play. The new one is to me is something I would buy a console for if I had, if I had played the original, because I know how solid that was. And now I'm thinking, damn, this thing is amazing. Um, it is gorgeous. Uh, PC looks even better. You know, just to put that out there, the PC version looks much better because you can get a higher graphic fidelity on it. They just don't have enough in the 10 years that he's taken over. They've done, he's done, he's done amazing things. He's done great strides to get the Xbox brand out of the gutter, but he's still not doing good enough to, to, you know, build the brand up to PlayStation levels. And that falls to the games, but now they have everything they need. They just got to not screw it up. Like they red folded. it. That was a disaster. Redfall was a complete disaster. And, you know, that was a big nail in her coffin because that is something from one of their biggest studios that failed. Starfield. That's another one. It didn't fail. It didn't, it didn't fail. It just, it didn't hit the strides of the Fallout series. It didn't hit the strides of, of the, you know, Skyrim. But it was still a, a top notch game. Uh, and, and I, I'm not a biggest fan of Bethesda, but I see, I just see Microsoft, I guess, with more positivity. I think they can do it. I think, I just think they, they need to start listening to the fan base a little more. They need to take a little more risk uh, and really focus on what made Sony such a powerhouse it was their games it was their first party games that's what they got to focus on you know and sony's meat and potatoes is not multiplayer sony's meat and potatoes is single player sony's meat and potatoes is stories microsoft's got great developers so they just gotta not choke yeah. and they've been choking a lot so <laughs> yeah yeah I mean, yeah, a Gears would be great, but the last one we got was on Xbox One, and Gears mm-hmm. Five was was fantastic. I love Gears Five. Oh, um, beautiful and amazing game. But we haven't had a Gears since, or even a mm-hmm. talk of a Gears. Now, Summer Game Fest is coming up, so we could have an announcement. Uh-huh. I haven't heard any rumors of one, but you never know. That would be great. Yep. Or like some of the other games are working on, such as Fable and things like that. You know, and I agree that you know Hellblade looks great. No, I just. I I and I haven't played it yet, and I, and I am interested in playing it, and I will. Um, I just I just don't think um, I don't know. We don't know the sales for it, but I would say probably mm. just it. Even though it's reviewing well and people seem to like it, I just don't know how well it's actually doing. Um, you know, and that's that's going to be the determination, right? And that's yeah. not really Microsoft's thing either, because Hellblade is one. It's it's not a Microsoft problem. Like Hellblade is a very it's a niche game, right? Even the first one was it had its it had its people, right? Uh, the people that liked it, uh, uh, people that followed it and were interested in it. And, and those people are going to return for the second one. But getting new people to play, you know, games like that. Mm-hmm. And it's an action game, really. So I don't know why people wouldn't play it, but. It's harder. Mm for people to get into certain titles. And I just feel like yeah. that one's one that's difficult for people to get into. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad game or anything like that. Like I said, I haven't played it yet and it looks great. Um, and I do want to play it and I will. I just don't know how well it's going to do for them. Um, I could agree with most of that, but that game is, that game is, is, is every bit of a, story driven narrative yeah. game as spider-man as god of war as uncharted as uh the one pat butters his bread over uh oh it's a robot dinosaurs lost my train of thought robot dinosaurs yeah, the, no <laughs> god no <laughs> <laughs> no the aloy uh oh horizon 
Horizon, yes. <laughs> so to me, and, and grant every game is a personal thing, but to me, that game holds up with all of those easily, easily. Right. Uh, and that is a me thing. Uh, I don't, the, the original sold, I think it was, it ended up around 6 million in four or five years. So that's damn good. Now okay. it's not, it's, you know, it's not uh, GTA five or anything, but it's still damn good numbers. Now with the whole game pass thing, cells are going to be different. You know, if you had a million cells, I, I think that would be good because, you know, a lot of people are playing on game pass. I'm playing on game pass because that's why right. I have game pass. So I don't know. Uh, you know, we're going to beat this horse to death, but I, right. As as a console gamer, I want simplistic. I don't want I don't want too much to think about as a console right. gamer. But I I do like what you're saying in a way too. So it's it's I think if they go your way, it's all going to be it's all going to be how they market it. Right. I think I think even if it's the simplest thing on the planet, they've got to be able to market it. Yeah. And, and as much as I would love for them to go with more of a traditional route, right? And that's the nostalgia and old timey gamer in me mm -hmm. that just I, I'm in the same boat, right? I love just the, the that's the thing I love about consoles is the plug and play aspect. I can plug mm -hmm. it in and it just works, right? I love my PC too, but my PC it takes a lot more work than it yep. does on a console, yep. right? Console, I just plug it in, I sit down, and I play, and that's it. And I love that aspect of it. But again. For me personally, as a gamer, as a big, huge gamer, um, you know, you 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 said, you know, for Microsoft, you're still holding out hope. For me, I, yeah. for me, where I'm at currently as a gamer, I've lost all confidence in, in Microsoft. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to turn this boat around. I felt like it was going that direction, but I felt like uh, I feel like they, they you know, they they got the boat out of the 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 uh, whirlpool that they were in and then they just like uh, turned it towards another whirlpool. And now they're on the outside of that, just circling the fishbowl. Like it's like, you haven't given me. And I, and I feel like, I feel like for me personally, I'm just, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing is happening. Right. And I'm just getting tired of waiting. Um, I do I, want them to turn things around. I just, I don't know how long I can sit here and wait for them to do so. Yeah. Before we go, let me ask you this. Sure. Do you spend more time on your PlayStation or Xbox? Uh, I, well, besides when we played Battlefield the other night, I have not turned on my Xbox in probably a month. All right. What about your PlayStation? What are you playing on there that uh, you've been playing the, that month? I've been playing a lot of games on there. Really? Because mm -hmm. normally it's the complete opposite. So normally it is. I've just, uh x i've like i said man i have lost i mean i'll still play my xbox and stuff like that but i have lost all confidence in microsoft and xbox mm -hmm. like i for if they come out with a new console i don't know if i'll buy it um and uh, that's mainly because they don't they're not even to, the, i love my xbox series x but again it's not giving me anything i can't get elsewhere right it's not offering me anything that i can't get from something else right i can play third parties on it sure but i have a playstation as well so i can play third parties there so i don't need yeah. two boxes to do the same thing with and it's mm. like okay well one's for exclusives and the other one's to what play third party well why am i buying two why am i spending a thousand dollars on two boxes one to play third party and one to play first party when mm -hmm. you know and again since most of those games come out for xbox on pc if i really wanted to play like hellblade 2 or whatever yeah. i can just download it on my computer and play it right so it's like mm -hmm. again i i'm not besides the controller which i absolutely love yep. besides the dashboard you know the xbox is an ecosystem the xbox is a device i absolutely love but again microsoft has not given me a reason to turn it on um besides to play stuff i can already play on playstation so i'm just like i I haven't kicked it on except for when we played Battlefield, which was a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, uh, I think what's going to end up, I, mean, I, I think the long run, and maybe not that much of a long run, is we're going to see them turn Atari, and they're going to just publish. Uh, 
Uh, they'll they'll yes. do they'll do I, their Microsoft PC dashboard or uh, uh, whatever you call it, uh, like right. Steam and and Epic, but the launcher. But I I think that's I why know. they're going this way, right? With the next Xbox. Now, again, this is, all, this is all rumor, right? Yeah, so we yeah. don't know what they're going to do. But I think they're going this way to not necessarily get out of the console market, but to basically still create a device, but mainly be a publisher manufacturer, a publisher and creator, right? And they could have other people manufacture their devices. They can manufacture their own straight from Microsoft, straight from the, from the from the goat right uh and then other people as well manufacture xbox devices that can do the same thing basically and it's more of a gateway into the ecosystem than anything else mm. uh because again it's unfortunate but the console is not doing them any favors i know we like it as traditionalists as gamers we like it we want to see another traditional console come from them but again, it's not going to help them. You know, an Xbox Series Y isn't going to then outpace the Xbox Series X. They're not going to release it, at least right now, unless they do something freaking nuts between now and then. <laughs> if, if, this, if the boat keeps sailing in the same direction it's heading today, then when an Xbox Series Y comes out, it ain't going to have that much hurrah behind it. Um, you know, besides th those people who like the new and shiny. Other than that, you're not going to have a lot of people going out and clamoring for one because you're not giving people, you know, you're not giving the gamer a need for the device, right? You have to give them a reason yeah. to want to own it. Um, There's only one need. There's only one need for a gaming console and that's games. That's right. what they need to go back that, to. It, exactly. They need games. They need games that they don't need third party games. No. We can get third party games from anywhere. They need games from their first parties that just knock it out of the park. And unfortunately, yeah. we've had some of their games from their first parties and they have not knocked anything out of the park. They have put more nails in the coffin. Redfall, I mean, even Starfield, which was a, it was an OK game, still didn't do what they were hoping for them. Um, you know, I, I play a lot. I played quite a bit of Starfield and I enjoyed it for the most part, most of it. Uh, and there were some aspects I didn't like. But it's still it wasn't the Skyrim, right? Um for for uh for Microsoft in that in that regard. So those two things and then uh Hellblade, which I think looks really good for them. And we don't know the sales, right? We'll have to learn um how sales went for that and how player feedback and everything like that. Like hopefully they don't because if they turn around, not to say they will or not, but if they turn around and shut down Ninja Theory, because Hellblade didn't do good. You mean that's the, that's the final nail, right? People are already pissed about the last stuff that they closed down. Yeah, but if they go in and say, "Well, Hellblade didn't do so well, so we're closing Ninja Theory," then you know most gamers would be like, "Well, <laughs> bye." <laughs> but goodbye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but but the problem is they can't blame cells. They can uh, honestly, I mean, financially, they have to blame yes. themselves. No, they can't blame the cells financially. Yes, I understand it, but they have to blame quality. Yeah. Well, they because, have to blame themselves. I mean, well, they spent. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I understand yeah. that. But if you don't put a quality game out, even yeah. if the sales are, are are good, if the game is not quality, people aren't going to come back for that. True. People can get excited for a game and everybody buys it. It's still crap if it's crap. It doesn't right. matter if it's sold a lot, just crap. And that's what Microsoft's biggest problem has been is they're, they're putting out too many turds. And yeah. they've got to fix that. So that's true. But anyways, I, I've dragged yeah. I've, I've dragged this out for you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go ahead and close it out here. But you know, I, I think also too that Hellblade. There wasn't a lot of advertising for Hellblade either. I didn't notice a lot of advertising for Hellblade. Not as much as I think they should have done. Like I think they should have went like nutso with the advertising. On it, but yeah, I did. would agree. I would agree. Especially yeah. when this is going to be like the first Xbox game that's really going to like even before it came out everyone knew it was like yeah this is probably going to be like really good so like really you know i mean we, we heard more about redfall i feel like than than, than, than what we heard and this, of, of, this uh, is truly a next gen title yeah unreal engine 5 uh 
on, on the latest hardware. This is the most stunning game out right now on consoles. Don't don't right. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Uh, or maybe it is PC, amazing. Right? Oh, so, on PC, it looks even better. Yeah, I mean, they uh, should have a, like they should have put like millions into the advertising. Absolutely. For it and just advertise the crap out of it. I should have been able to go to goddamn Taco Bell and eat a box of tacos trying to win a, you know, yeah. a, a Hellblade, uh, you know, pillow for the bed, you know. Right, right. Sinuous <laughs> pillow. Cinema, yeah, Cinema Saga pillow. You know, I mean, seriously, I feel like there was more extra. advertising for Redfall before it came out than mm-hmm. there was for Hellblade. I mean, yeah. I knew about it, but it's like when I looked online and stuff like that, I hardly ever came across an ad for it. Yeah. Unlike yeah. other stuff that I come across ads for all the time. So it's just like, come on, Microsoft, you you shoot yourself in the foot every every damn time. And this is you're exactly right. This the Hellblade 2 is, you know, that would be the magnum opus for their console to really get people interested in it. And they and they just they bumbled it. Right. I mean, it's a great game and it looks great, but they just, I just feel like they lacked on the advertising front. Uh, they order. did they absolutely did that's the magnum pi of the of their console and then they just they <laughs> loafed on it so the magnum pi yeah magnum pi but yeah uh, it, it, it's oh man phil spencer has done an amazing job digging this thing out of the dirt and yet he's finding somebody is finding ways to bury, put the dirt back on top it's yeah for sure i don't get it Dumb and, and I would love, and, and you know, to in, to end this. Finally, we're going to go ahead and end this. I know probably everybody <laughs> stopped listening like uh, thirty minutes ago, but um, to end this, like uh, you know, I don't want to see Microsoft go away. As far as and they're not going to go away. I mean, they're other they're like a billion trillion dollar company, so they ain't going anywhere. But um, I, I don't want to see the gaming division go away or Xbox go away or anything like that right i really do want to see them succeed but again like as a gamer and as a fan it's like how long can i sit here and wait for you to do something um and i feel like i'm running out of not running out of time but just running out of patience waiting um it's unfortunate right i really want to see them turn things around but they just they've got to do something uh to really hook me back into their ecosystem because right now i'm 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 very disappointed in it um and, and and lost all confidence get my confidence back microsoft get my confidence back show me that you are confident anyway let's go ahead and end this this is too long uh thanks everybody for listening for watching let us know down in the comments below what do you think I mean, again these are all rumors these are all speculation we don't know what they're going to do we'll know as it gets closer to time or once they announce what they're going to do and we'll see what happens hopefully things turn around for them but you know still in this day and age it's not going so hot for for microsoft so they've really got to make a change somewhere uh and it would make sense for them to do this is it necessarily what i want them to do no but it makes sense uh for them to do something like this but let us know what you think down in the comments below other than that thanks for watching if you (laughs) if you're still watching if you are still watching and you're not subscribed do us a favor hit the subscribe button you know you watched what 45 minutes of us blabbering about xbox uh you might as well hit the subscribe button and watch us blabber some more so anyway thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time see ya